Hey guys, and welcome back to CanCode. I made a video before that was actually cut in half because of how long it was. This is the second part of that video, so sorry if I kind of seem like this video and the last video are lumped together because they are for me. I will start off by saying that I will finish this video with something while I am actually just creating an entire video, so let's get into it. I think what I'll do as a final thing if we have time, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this, but in the shop we can add an extra gun that we can purchase. I think this gun will be kind of like a rifle that's a little bit more powerful and accurate, but you just can't shoot as often with it. And it will just go right there, so I'm kind of deciding between if we just want to have a bunch of guns that you can buy in the shop, or maybe having right here a gun customizer spot where you can customize your gun and do that kind of thing. I was thinking also we could do maybe a combination of that where you can buy different guns and then customize those guns just to your perfect specifications and upgrading them in a gun customizer. But here you'll just have like basic guns uh, with basic parts that, I don't know. I guess maybe in the future we can make some sort of gun customizer, but for now I'll just add like a rifle to the shop. Maybe I'll add a shotgun to the shop uh, as like a final gun, but if we have like three but we'll and then you can like customize those ones but let's just add uh the gun customizer or the let's just add the, sh the rifle so we'll just add this to the very end we'll just go all the way like that and we will call this a uh, rifle one maybe if that no we'll just go rifle and we'll have to drop the gun but i'm gonna real quick go here and work on drawing a gun for our guy. Here I'm just adding like a little scope to our gun and that seems all right with me pretty okay rifle it's not anything too great uh, but we're just gonna add this to the shop items here so here we have rifle and I'll just delete this guy I'll paste this group all the things and see if I can fit the character on the board I'll say the rifle will also cost 250 for now and so that looks okay now we're just going to or actually we'll just copy this We'll make one for when it is, uh, when our mouse is over it. So we'll just add that and make the outline. There we go. So when we have over it like that. And then finally, we will add one for when it is purchased. Okay, now that I've made the purchased one, what we'll do is we'll come here and we will add this to the game. So we're going to grab this first one and we will delete everything after it just because we want this gun here and we'll bring this down to the bottom we will attach this to the bottom and we'll say when the costume number is equal to 10 because that's what the rifle is so we'll make this 10 and we'll say item 2 of guns, no, we'll say item 3 of guns is equal to 1. And we will set this to rifle 3, which is the purchased. But what we need to do is we need to go to the stage. And we're going to need to add a 0 to guns afterwards. And we're going to add a 0 to the items here. Clean up the blocks. We'll do that. Then we're going to go to the shop items. And we're going to say, uh, switch the costume to rifle 2 when it's touching your mouse pointer and if it's not then we're just gonna set to the normal rifle and here we're gonna say uh, switch the costume to rifle 3 which is the purchased if we buy it right there on the spot uh, set the shop hover to zero that's all right place item 3 of gun or of items and guns with one uh, the cash is right and I think everything else is fine now, what we want to do is we want to add this to the shop up here uh, with this. So we'll say uh, this is good, but what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to 
add it to a different X position. The Y position is fine, but the X position should be zero. And also, we're going to be switching the costume to rifle instead of automatic. Okay, now when we click the flag and we click shop, then we're going to come here and we have a rifle that we can also buy. Now, the problem is when it shows us the thing up here, it's a house of bullets. If we hover over the barrel bolts, then we come here. It still shows the barrel bolts. It's just the last thing that you were hovering over because we never added one to this. So, we're going to say uh, box of bullets cost 100 item 100 bullets this is normally you will get 200 bullets if you have the automatic gun so I don't know how we're gonna make that work but let's start by just making one of these we will call it rifle one rifle two sorry I mean uh, and we're going to say rifle just add that right there and it says cost 250 which is right uh, now the item fires point uh, every point one second uh, We'll go over here and say fires every point one five seconds because that's what it actually is I don't know why we are trying to Misguide them, but um, then we're gonna go here, and it does not fire every point one seconds uh, What its special power is that it is more powerful than any gun not any gun But it, well, maybe it is right at this point. It will be but we'll just say um, double power. We'll just say so it has more power, double power than any other guns. So we'll just add that there. And what we will say is we'll go to uh, the player. We'll say if the costume number. Actually, what we'll do is we're going to go to the bullet, and we're going to make the bullets work. So we'll go here. I'll switch this to gun 4 for now because I think that's going to work for now. We'll set this to 3, custom number 3, and the actual bullets, we will change the actual bullets by 2 because this is going to, uh, well actually, you know, it'll just be like a normal gun, so it'll be change the actual bullets by minus 1, that'll be fine, and wait this amount of time, no, what we'll say is we'll say wait 0.2 two seconds or 0 0.3 seconds maybe and then we're going to wait until not mouse down so it's gonna be a little bit less have a little bit less of a firing speed um, but we'll go here and we will add another one of these here and we'll say if the costume uh, number of players is equal to three and what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a lot more accurate it's gonna be from like minus one to one so it's a lot more of an accurate gun uh, it's going to shoot for faster so we'll say like 25 maybe we'll try that but the most important thing is that it takes away more bullets so we'll say um, we'll make a variable called gun dam uh, not Dan damage and we'll say here, we will say, uh, if the costume number of player 1 uh, is equal to 1, then we're going to say that the gun damage will be 1. And we will add that uh, here, and we will add that here. Um, but, we will say, we'll also add it at the beginning when the flag is clicked, just to make sure that everything is working and there's not any like weird lag stuff. So just add that right there. Uh, but then if the costume number is 3, we're going to set the gun damage to 2. And this is going to affect the enemies. So we will say when it gets hit by touching bullet, we're going to change the enemy lives by minus 1 time... Or not current damage, uh, gun damage. So we'll say uh, change the lives by minus 1 times the gun damage so if the gun damage is one it's just gonna be minus one but if the gun damage is two then it's going to be minus two which will be not as good so we'll say uh, it says next costume but we'll say next costume and we'll repeat this gun damage so we'll repeat once if the um, gun damage is one but it will repeat twice 
if the gun damage is 2. So we'll add that right there. We don't need this. And we will say clean up blocks. Is there any other things that make the lives go down? I'm pretty sure that is it. So let's just see how this works. Uh, for the shop, I cannot. Okay. So that is a glitch that is happening ever so often. It might be that if I'm like. Okay, so I can click both at once. It is possible for me to click both at once. And maybe that's what I'm doing. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll space them out further apart. But anyway, if we go to the shop, we cannot buy this rifle. This is working. Automatic gun, barrel bullets, rifle, cost double power. Okay. That seems to be working. None of these are working when I click them. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the rifle because I do not want to do what I do every time, which is just take forever to get the right amount of money. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this uh, minus one and then change this to zero just for now so I can actually buy it for free. We'll go to the shop, buy this. Cha-ching, we have purchased it. We're going to go... Okay, so this might not work because we have to press Q. Oh, and it does work. Okay, so it does go through these. When I shoot them, those guys die instantly. These guys take two hits. Those guys take one hit. One, two. Okay, that's actually... Looks like it's working pretty well. Those guys are dying a lot faster. I cannot shoot very fast. Um, those guys... Those fast guys are not working. And that's because when I'm shooting them... They're taking away more lives than... Uh, they're supposed to. So we're going to say for the uh, enemy type fast, we'll say if they die, they die. But we'll say here, uh, we'll change the enemy lives by that. And we'll say if, we'll add an if statement here. We'll say if the lives, uh, if the enemy lives get less than zero, if they are less than zero, then we are going to set the lives to zero and that should make sure that it is working correctly but we'll add that right there and see if that works we'll go to the shop buy a rifle because we made it free for now okay the back button did not come up that is a little bit strange okay that's not supposed to happen i don't know why that happened but uh, i have a i have a guess but We'll have to fix that in a new video. Okay, so here we press Q. One. Yep, those guys just die normally now. That looks like it's working. Our bullets are not going down. Because we forgot to code that in. So that's a kind of an important thing to do. Uh, we'll need to go to the bullets. And we say uh, we are changing the actual bullets by minus one. So that should be working. But it isn't. Is the facts. Here, uh, maybe it's that we need to add another one of these that says, uh, wait, 0 point, or point 0.3, and then wait until not mouse down, and uh, set the bullets, the actual bullets, times 2. No, we just wanted to do, uh, set it to the actual bullets. Maybe that's right. I'm pretty sure it is. We'll find out. Rifle, purchase that. Play Q to switch to it. And it is not working. So let's do two things. We're going to say, set the, we'll say bullets, which is right here, and the actual bullets, which is right here. Uh, so we have actual bullets and bullets. Let's see. We don't get any bullets there, too. So the actual bullets is 120. When we shoot, it seems to be, the bullet, actual bullets seem to be working, which is good, but the normal bullets are not switching, so it says set the bullets to, oh, we gotta set this to three, I thought I did that, but it looks like I did not, whoopsies, okay, um, now let's try this again, go to the shop, purchase the, uh, the back button didn't work again. Let's see, I don't think that's going to be something that I can figure out right off the top of my head, but I think I know what the problem is, I just don't really know how to fix it. Uh, we're saying for the 
back button. The back button's coming on, but then it's also here making it go off the screen. So I think what we should do, because the back button is going to the right spot. So maybe if we just say, whoops, wait, I did not mean to check that. Uh, okay, wait, 0 0.001. That might fix it. I don't really know, but seemed to work that time. Rifle, purchase the rifle, play. Uh, normal bullets are working when we switch to the rifle. There we go. Okay, now it's working. This rifle seems a little bit overpowered, I feel like. I feel like, I mean, it is a good gun. Maybe we should just increase the cost or something. Um, the cost of the gun, because right now, 250 kind of seems like this is a no-brainer. Maybe we can make it so that the bullets are, uh, they cost more. You don't get as many of them and stuff like that. Uh, but... I feel like this gun is just really too good. One thing that I will change right now, though, is the um, amount of wait time, because I feel like I can shoot it a little bit too much. We'll say 0 0.4. I can only shoot a maximum of this fast. There's still a lot of bullets, but it does restrain me a little bit from just kind of spamming. Alright, it seems to work okay. I might increase the cost of this gun, uh, so actually let's do that. We'll go here and we will increase the cost by, we'll say, maybe like it'll cost 400, so we'll say we have to have more than 399 uh, coins and we'll say minus 400. That might even be too little, but we'll just do that for now. Now we're also going to come down here and we're going to have to change this to 400 and we'll have to do this on all of them. Except for this one because, well, I guess we do because we can still kind of see it. Now, we'll head down here and make this also 400. And there we go. Now we should not be able to purchase it for free anymore. If we go to the shop. That, that back button still did it. Maybe we'll wait a little bit longer. So this is, I don't know how long this takes. But we'll say maybe like 0 0.1 and we'll see if that does anything at all. In the shop, we cannot buy this. The back button worked that time, but let's see if it works every time. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty good. Hopefully that is not an issue anymore, but there we go. We've got that, which is pretty nice. We have this many items, I've got a lot more items that I'm thinking about adding to the shop, and I'm thinking also we could add a sliding bar that we can drag and slide through all of the different uh, things we can buy, and also we can use the scroll wheel to do it, which would be really cool too. So that's all I have for this video, it's probably longer than normal, but thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time. Hi there, did you know I have another channel where I make even better videos, and it's about Rubik's Cube, so... Even if you're not that interested in Rubik's Cubes, you should check it out just to see some of my videos. Who knows, maybe you'll really enjoy it. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.